Hey guys, it's Mansion. Welcome to the channel where we talk about blindness, mom stuff, and plus size fashion. How in the world does that blind mom just look so cute? Except for today, because we're talking about blindness. More specifically, this Chromebook and how to use it. If you are a parent and you have a child that's going back to school this year, it would make it a lot easier if you knew the key commands. So this video is going to be full of information to use Chromevlocks on a Chromebook. Without further ado, we're gonna turn this Chromebook on. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. This is not gonna be a complete list of commands because everybody has their own accessibility journey. There are different modes for accessibility on here. Text-to-speech, magnifying. If you have problems reading, it can read text to you. Like there's so many different ones. So I suggest just looking in the links below. But if you are a blind person and you need that Chrome box, stay tuned. And for all of my people who come here for fashion, don't worry, we'll get comfy cozy in another video. Okay guys, I have opened up the Chromebook. I will start Chromevox in just one second. I'm sorry that you cannot see the screen. I am not screenshotting it so you can't see my screen. This is not for a person with normal vision. This video is mainly for people who are blind or if you are a sighted parent and you have a blind child or you are a blind parent. You can listen and follow along. It would be really great if you could get your Chromebook and follow the commands as I am doing them. I will try to say them more than once and let you listen to the commands that it gives me. So to start, you hit, first of all, let's talk about the keyboard and how different it is. <laughs> all right, so at the bottom, on the very left-hand corner, there is a control and an alt, a space. The alt is super wide, but it is an alt key. It is not the Windows key. The Windows key for the Chromebook is at the top right hand corner. That will pop you into a window and I will show you that in just a second. If you're a JAWS user, the caps lock, which you use for an insert, is called a search key. So really we're using a lot of that. It's a lot of shift, control, and search key plus alt. If you have a Mac, this should be very familiar because I hear that Macs have to use a lot of key commands. So starting off, you hit Control Alt Z and it'll sound like that to turn it on. Turned it off and turned it back on Windows. using Control Alt Z. Just do that a few times. No matter where you are, you will be able to hit that Control Alt Z. So if your child's in Google Class, Canvas, whichever, Squology, I don't know all the apps and things that they're using, you can Control Alt Z, turn it off when they have to use the computer and turn it back on when you wanna know exactly what they're doing. Next, we are going to activate the launcher. The launcher is kind of like hitting the start menu on a Windows computer. You can type in anything basically and if it has it on the computer, it'll pop it up. Or you can just type google.com and it'll take you to google.com. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit that button next to the space bar, the Alt. We're gonna hold down the shift key and we're gonna hit L. Launcher button. It's gonna pop up Toolbar. and it's gonna say down. launcher. Press search plus space to activate. We're gonna hit enter right here. Search your device, apps, and web. Use the arrow keys to navigate your app. You can use the arrow keys to navigate your apps or you can just start typing in. I'm going to go to Google. Google Doc display for results for tab created. Search combo box. And as soon as you go to Google, it'll pop you into an edit field. Since we will be working a lot with the internet in different classes and things like that, I decided to just show you guys the Google. Some commands are exactly the same. For example, if you want to go to the address bar, at least for JAWS, what I use is Alt D. You can use the same thing, Alt D. Address and search bar. We'll take you to address and search bar. You can delete, type google.com, and it takes you right back to that spot. The one thing that is different for me is that you can't just use your arrow keys and go up and down. You have to hold the search key. Search by voice. This box. Google search. Record inappropriate. Hit the search key and go down arrow. To get to your first edit box, if you wanna go by edit boxes, you hit search key. Remember, it's that insert key or the key right next to the A, and you can hit E. Search combo box. And then you can type in here. Or if you wanna go by headings, mm, let's just type in T, T J, 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 J,
into the search bar. So that way it'll pop up information and other websites. Now, it has pulled up TJ Maxx. How do I get to the searches? You hit that search key and you can go by headings Accessibility links. by hitting H. So insert that key next to the A and hit H. Search mode, heading one. Search results, heading one. Make web results with site links. TJ Maxx official site, shop clothing, home decor, handbag, ellipsis. Okay, you can do this with a multiple number of things. Columns, combo boxes. If you hit insert C, sort by, sort by, button. Takes you to the first combo box. Insert B, no next visited link. There's no visited links. Insert R will not take you to a radio button. Insert R will actually tell you where your cursor is. So that's extremely helpful since you can't arrow up and down. So you don't know where you are on the page. You can hit insert R. Sort by, sort by, button. Have okay, up. it's on sort by. Now if I hit insert E, search. takes me back to the search bar. I'm gonna hit insert or search button R. TJ Maxx, clear button. There's TJ Maxx is in that edit box. Next, I'm going to show you guys something that's really useful and that I feel like will really help you guys. If you hit insert period, search menus. Search. it brings up a menu kind of list for Chrome box. So you can arrow through these with the left and right arrow. Jump menu, speech menu, tab menu, TJ Maxx, Google search action. Oh, that's where we are. Chrome box. Menu. Chrome box, Actions, Actions. Heading, Heading. Menu. Landmark, Landmark. Menu. Link, Link. Menu. Form Controls, Table, Menu, Search the Menu. And then it takes you just right back around. All right, something that I want to show you guys as well is to how to get to the Chrome box options. So to do that, you hit the search key and hit O twice. Tab Chrome box options. Chrome box pitch. options. Increase pitch two. is the English very first one you get. Menu item. 12 of 34. And you can tab around in here and it'll give you different options. Enable verbose description. Automatically red page after it finishes loading. Keep text under the mouse. When reading capitals, increase pitch. Read numbers is words. Button. Has pop up. This will give you different options that you need to make it as accessible as you can handle. You have your different layout, your different format, the way that you like it. I just actually enabled the speak text under mouse. So I will play around with that and show you guys how that works. If you want to switch languages, this is the option where you need to go to find it. Announce download notice turn off sticky mode when editing, when playing audio, select current voice, system text to speech voice. Automatically switch Chromebox voice based on language. Now we're going to go back to the Google website and I'm going to show you because I feel like this is very interesting and very helpful to go word for word and letter for letter. I feel like that's just something you should know since we can't just use the arrows and then hold control key and go right arrow, left arrow to speak for word. Address and Chromebox. To go word for word in a document or on a website, you hold control, shift, search, right or left arrow. Wonderful. Google, and privacy, link, term, link, settings, advertising, business, link, how, link. And to go letter for letter, you hold the shift and the search key. So basically just release the control key. O, W, space, F, E, A, R, C, H, space. Okay. I feel like those are like really important. Now. Something else that's really important is to switch tabs, okay? <laughs> because if you're anything like me, you have multiple tabs open, your children are gonna have multiple tabs open, they're gonna have their meeting open. And if they're using Google Classroom like my child does, you're gonna have to switch from the meeting and over to the document. And they have to type while the teachers are looking at them. So in order to do that, if you need to help your child or you know you need to do it yourself, you hit control tab. TJ Maxx, Google, Google tab, Google tab, Google tab, TJ Maxx, Google. And it will cycle you through. Another trick that I just found out is that you can hold down the control key and go one through eight and it will take you through the tabs. If you want to go to the last tab, you have to hit the number nine. So I'm going to hold down the control key and hit number one. Google tab, TJ Maxx, Google search, search. Number two. Google tab. Number three. Number four, Google number five, I pulled out, oh, there's no number five. I pulled up a lot of Google searches. Now, if you want to close out your tab, you hit control W. Google tab. 
And if you want to close the whole entire window, you hit Control Shift W. Right and it takes you all the way back out. And since I only had Google up, I have nothing up anymore. So I'm gonna hit Alt Shift L launcher. and go Let back to that launcher. Break. Oops. Launcher. Search your device. And I'm gonna go right back to Google. Search. Also, an easy way to turn the volume up and down, if you go back to that button that's in that right hand top corner, the button next to it, that should be a plus or equal sign. Volume. Turn the volume up. Lighter. And the button next to that, that should be the dash, turns it down. So also within Google Classroom or Google Docs, I found that they cannot really edit the document without making the window full screen. So if you go to what we would call F5 and just hit that button, Alert. Enter full screen. it goes into full screen. To exit full screen, Alert. you just hit that exact same button. Now I'm going to try to mess around with the mouse and the touchpad screen really quickly. And I'm just going to go back to TJ Maxx only because that's the website that I was looking at earlier. So I'm going to use control H and go by, he or not control H. I'm going to use control, not control. This is not the window. I'm going to use insert H and go to the heading. Except search, search web TJ Max official site shop. And program. if you want to go back the heading, instead of going forward, you just hit shift. Web results with site. Insert or shift search. TJ Max official. And you could just cycle through. But we're going to go to TJ Max and we're going to play around with the touchpad. All right, so now we are on the TJ Max website. I'm going to run my finger along the trackpad. It is supposed to speak when the cursor, whatever is under the mouse cursor. So let's just try this out. When you email address, edit text cool. email, join the TJ Maxx list exclusive on. All right. Disable Pro Box button. No, we don't want to do that. Close button. TJ Maxx right. official site. It says close button. Closed button. I'm going to actually TJ press and see what happens. Huh. Did it close it? Oh boy. I think it closed my window. But so, since I don't know exactly where I am, I'm going to hit that search key plus R and it will read to me where my cursor is. No current pro box focus, press alt plus shift plus L to Ah, the it closed the window. Hey, but at least when I clicked the trackpad to click the mouse for it to close, it actually closed. If you don't have time and you are just on the Chrome box and you want to pull up options and figure out some keywords or go to the tutorial, I briefly showed this earlier, but I'm going to actually scroll down and show you what it says. So that way you will know where to go to get the tutorial and learning practice. You hit search plus period. You hit the right arrow until you hear Chrome. Jump, speech, menu, Chrome box, menu. It says Chrome box. Now you're going to down arrow. Enable slash disable sticky mode. Open Chrome box menu search plus period. Open Chrome box tutorial search plus O. Then T. And that is where you go. It should give you a list also. Open developer log. Open learn mode search plus O. There's also a. learn menu mode. Item. Guys, the Chromebook even has braille accessibility. I am not one that has a braille display, but if you do have a braille display, you can connect it to the Chromebook and you should be able to use it. Toggle, toggle braille captions, search plus and disable Chromebox. There are so many different options in here. You're never gonna learn unless you get on and you go to the tutorial and you just play around with it. I'm going to drop the links in the description box. So, you know, go down there and check those out. I hope you guys learned a little bit and are a little bit more comfortable. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment box and I will do my best to answer you guys. Until then, see you guys next time.